After being indoors in meetings for two days, these conference attendees were eager to get out in nature and enjoy some fresh air. And there was no better place to do that than Raven Run, a 734-acre nature sanctuary near Lexington, dedicated to preserving the natural beauty of the Kentucky River Palisades and early Kentucky history. Over 600 species of plants can be seen over the 10 miles of hiking trails at Raven Run, including bush honeysuckle, one of the most difficult invasive species to eradicate. Uh, honeysuckle all, all competing in the native uh, beautiful wildflowers. So in the long run you will have uh, what I was uh, describing earlier, you may end up with you know, a forest of honeysuckle so you don't have any other native diversities uh, left. And uh, to do the control, you see, it takes a lot, a lot of manpower. But if we persist of doing this and uh, revegetate it with uh, native species, and I think we can, we will win the battle. University of Kentucky forestry professor Song Lin Fei led the tour. He says bush honeysuckle is a problem for the entire Ohio Valley region where Kentucky is located. The Raven Run field trip, one of four field trip options focused on removal of bush honeysuckle and different demonstration removal methods. Raven Run workers demonstrated a tool that they used to pull the plant out of the ground by its roots. The cost of labor in treating bush honeysuckle can be very expensive, but those who are working toward eradicating the plant say it is very important to stay on top of its movement. Well, I think it's uh, very important because it's in pretty much everybody's backyards around here. Uh, a lot of that's sort of upstream from uh, these areas here. You have birds that are transferring seeds into these natural areas. You've got waterways, you've got wind. Um, so, you know, what people are um, growing in their backyards has a, a big effect on the natural areas. And if they want to come out and enjoy these areas um, in, in a pristine environment, then it, it does help if they can learn about it and stay on top of it. Beverly James says local garden centers should stop selling and promoting some of the invasive type plants because it only makes eradication that much more difficult. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.